We're pulling people together for Gather because over the last five or six months, we've been praying and seeking God's will for how God wants to renew the Christian Reformed Church in North America. So we're inviting uh, the members and the leaders of the churches to come and share what God has put on their hearts and how he's renewing their congregations, what lessons they're learning about ministry and mission in their context. Every church has its own experience. And yet, as a community, we have so many experiences that are similar. None of our churches, no matter how uh, great things are going in our church or uh, how many challenges we have in our church, none of our churches are alone. We are a community together. The way that this is run is really through dialogue and the fact that we get to gather around these tables and discuss what God's doing in our church, ways that we could find hope again, and ways we could share stories with one another about what God's doing has been so beautifully designed, really. So I think the word gather, it's so perfect. I think we lose sight of sometimes what what's just happening in our community, we're focused on that. But when you hear many stories of God's work, flourishing churches, it's very encouraging. This experience has actually been amazing for me. We all have the same concerns, even though our ministries look different, sound different, and are different. But we all have the same level of concern. And I think the best part of Gather is that it gives us the opportunity to be transparent about where we are and where we're going. Gather is a time of connecting together with believers within the Christian Reformed Church from across the denomination. We have so much intergenerational learning here that it is ridiculous. So we have people who have been in ministry 30, 40, 50 years, and then some 10, some two, some one. To come to Gather is to get an encyclopedia of verbal hands and feet of Jesus. And it's a time of learning, but more than that, it's a time of growth and it's a time of encouragement, discernment, prayer. Our church was planted with the CRC about 18, almost 19 years ago. We started with about 12 people. Now we have almost like seven, close to 800 people. We have to realize that the various ministries we're serving or where our congregation is at is it in respect to growth is that sometimes our plans for the church are not God's plans and we measure the success by our by our means or by our ratings and and sometimes God's plans are bigger than ours and may last multiple generations as well we trust and we rest in the certainty that God is sovereign and that is number 1 that doesn't mean that the future is going to be without challenges. I believe there will be challenges ahead. We've got some tough issues to navigate, but I think as we navigate those challenges, we have to learn to be confident and to rest in the certainty of God's sovereignty. And when we rest in that, um, that gives us peace even if we don't know what the future holds for us. One thing I'm excited to take back to New Life Church is the stories that we've heard here this weekend. They are inspiring, um, people are doing amazing things, and it's such an exciting time to be part of the CRC. I'm really excited to take back to my own church a sense that the CRC is growing in new ways and thinking more missionally about what it means to be the church in our world today, to engage the broader community and to bring the hope of the gospel beyond our own church walls. I would love to invite you to gather if God is putting on your heart a passion for your church to be renewed, to grow, to reach out to your community, to be faithful to God in mission. I think this is a wonderful place where you can share that passion. It's a wonderful chance to be together with this community, to hear stories, to share stories, and also to dig into God's Word as we look for what it means to be the Christian Reformed Church moving into the future. That's gather.